Appreciate it, appreciate it. For real. Thanks for um, having me. But we'll start off with the first question. So, when did you uh, like start making music? Oh, uh, I started making music. Uh, the first song I ever recorded, I was thirteen. So I guess like around that time, um, mm -hmm. uh, my homie Pyro, who actually locked up right now, uh, Free Pyro, he about to be out though soon. Mm -hmm. I think he got like two more years. Um, he put me on like he was making music like on MySpace, bro. Damn. Like, he was going crazy on MySpace, bro. Like, uh -huh. like, that nigga was like Soldier Boy on MySpace, bro. Like, like, he had, like, a crazy following. So, uh, he told me, like, like, and I seen, like, my bigger homies, uh, shout out Nico Rogers, Young Heavy, man. They was, like, going crazy in the city at the time. And, um, but they was, like, super young, too. Like, uh, he just got me in the stool. Like, I be recording myself. Like, I do all that. Like, just come right and record. So, like, I was recording with him. Like, and then I, I stopped. It was kind of like on some hobby shit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I stopped recording. Like, I didn't record again for, like, some years after that. But so I say 13, though. Like, that was when I, like, first, like, I recorded, like, three or four songs. I started, I had a MySpace. I started dropping shit on MySpace. Mm -hmm. Bro, I was getting a crazy, like, feedback. Like, yeah. like, I wasn't, like, like, I'm, like, bro, I'm, like, 13 or 14. So mm -hmm. I'm not buying views, bro. Like, I had, like, three songs on there, like. All of them had five thousand and up plays. Like, mm -hmm. what the biggest one had thirteen thousand plays. Like, that's crazy for my for my bro. bro wow. Like at the time, that's that shit, that shit was going crazy. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. So yeah, like, but yeah, so thirteen. Yeah, I've been. Was you uh, was you going under the same name back then? Did you have a different name? I was J two. Yeah, still that's crazy. Yeah, I was locked in. Yeah. yeah, so I had that name. I got that name. My mama, uh, she was in a. A biker like club and mm -hmm. shit like um like Rough Riders. It's called New World Riders. Yeah, Mike um, was like, yeah, yeah out west um Maywood. That's mm -hmm. what they had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um you know they get their own vest. They get all like their yeah. names and yeah, shit like that. So like I'm, I'm like a junior and shit like so like um my name on my they got me a vest and shit and my the name on my vest was J two but it was just like the letter J and the mm -hmm. number two mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and then I just always kind of ran with that. Then I just added J A Y to it type shit. That shit felt good. Like, so yeah, like. So like, when was the first song like you made under your your name J Two? The first song I made. The first song I did. It was um, it was uh, it was like a feature with my homie Pyro. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was called I'm. Mean, it was called I'm Here. Like, <laughs> so, bro, I got my uh, I got my old ass like iPod Mini. You remember like the little square yeah, ass yeah, iPod? Uh -huh. I got that bitch, and I got like every song that I recorded from when I was like 13. I only recorded like four songs when I was 13, mm -hmm. and then like I I started back recording when I was like 16. So like, but I got all them songs on there. I just need to find a charger for that bitch. Uh -huh. yeah. like, you gotta keep that forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta have that. That exactly. shit. Exactly. Gems. For real. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Gems, for sure. Hell yeah. I know you be looking back on that shit some, some day. Like, man. Bro, man. I ain't listened to that shit in a minute. The last time I listened to that shit, though, was like a few years ago, and that shit was crazy. I was listening to it with my homie, and I'm like, damn. That shit was a long yeah, that shit ass time back, ago. Like, yeah, that shit put you back like yeah, to exactly time. what the fuck was happening oh, in my life. Like, that time, man. like everything, bro. And it's like like listening to it, it make hella sense. Like, it makes so much sense. Um, That's crazy. Like, bro, that shit crazy. That's dope you kept that shit. Mm -hmm. So like what were your like influences like around that time? Like as far as like music wise and I guess uh, culture wise. Way yeah. Wayne, number, <laughs> number one, yeah. Wayne, number one, um, damn shit, bro, like, yay, obviously, um, yay shirt, mm -hmm. um, uh, damn, what am I thinking, T.I., I was a big T.I. fan, bro, mm -hmm. on some crazy shit, I was a really big T.I. fan, like, I was bumping Urban Legend like crazy, right. so, um, but yeah, like, those were the main, main ones, I'd probably say Wayne and Dipset, like, Cam and Jewel's like big influences. Mm -hmm. Like just at that time, like when I first like was like, all right, I want to make songs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
Yeah, they had a huge influence on a lot of people. Doing that they time. was going crazy, bro. Dressing everything. They was going crazy. For, for real, man. What's what's your favorite uh, Wayne project? I know this is like probably the hardest <laughs> question to ask anybody. Yeah, bro. Damn. I don't even know, cause I ain't gonna lie, I, I like, I want to say dedication too. Mm -hmm. Like his mixtapes, like I like his albums. Like I got like my favorite like Wayne album, my favorite Wayne mixtape. Mm -hmm. But like all time, it probably be between Drought Three and Dedication Two. I probably go with Drought Three though. Yeah, I know that sounds. <laughs> I know that <laughs> sounds crazy, cause <laughs> Dedication Two was like. It was before Drought 3. That yeah, shit was yeah. like when he really was in that zone. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's just something about the droughts for me, man. Yeah, like, bro. I fuck with the dedication. I fuck with dedication 3. Dedi yeah, dedication 3. Yeah, dedication three. Yeah, like, what do you mean? He's trying to get up out of here. That shit. Oh, yeah. But he, whew, for real, a legend. <laughs> but, for sure. But, like, when was that time where you, like, knew, like, you for real had something? Like, when you was, like, when you was rapping? Uh, shit. Oh, hmm. probably like, maybe like 20, around when I dropped, when we was talking about like maintenance and shit like mm -hmm. that, like that era for me, like 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. But like, I already like been through a lot with the music shit. Like I was already dropping shit or I had already dropped like a, a mixtape, um, that like I took down and shit in 2013. Mm -hmm. So that was like 2013, I was 18. That was when I um, really like started getting serious about this shit. Mm -hmm. I trying to be serious about this shit. But mm -hmm. like I didn't like, I don't know how serious I took it at the time, but I called myself being serious about this shit. Mm -hmm. So like, but yeah, I knew like, all right, like, like I'm good. Like I felt like I was like real good at this shit. Probably like 2016. 2015. I was like 20 years old. Or some I, shit feel like that. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. So that's that's what's up. Cause I just I didn't even realize um, like a couple of those tracks, maintenance and I think pay per view as well. But it was produced by Monte Booker. So when yeah. did you when Monte, did you with him? Yeah, Monte, yeah. Monte um, Booker. Shit, that's the bro. We uh we linked up in like I met Monte through Smee. So he just always used to be coming to the stool and um. It's crazy because, like, we went to high school on the same side of the city and shit. So, we just, we had mutual friends and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, we just ain't know each other. So, then me was like, yeah, you got to come uh, link with Monty. Like, nigga code, like, type shit. Mm -hmm. So, then we just, shit, we linked up at the studio. And we, like, clicked instantly, like, became friends instantly just through, like, you know, city ties, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, we was cool, like, and then we just started working, like. But, like, I want to say I met him in, like, 2014, or I, I remember the first time I, like, met him, I think it was at a show that I was doing. Like, me and Smee was, like, on a car for this show and shit, and I don't know if he was there or if I linked with him after, I can't even remember, but, uh, like, that was when we, like, got cool and we just started working pretty much. Really? So, when did you, uh, when did you link up with Smee, though? Because you met him before... I met Smee in 2013. Yeah, so I was uh, I was 18. I met him at the studio. I be uh, working at Classic Studios. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the homie Headache, like, introduced me to him and my homie Bari at the same time. They was, like, doing really? a, uh, yeah, they was doing, like, a collab tape they had dropped. And I had just dropped two. And, like, he had been working on both of our shit at the same time. Headache, he was an engineer. So uh, he was like, yeah, you know. He wanted us to link. He thought it would, it would work. So we just, we met each other. It's cool. We met each other and we didn't even start working like completely or directly after we met. Mm -hmm. We just like was cooling. And then um, we started working like, like maybe shortly after, some months after. They went back to, they from St. Louis, but mm -hmm. they was down here at um, college in Columbia. So. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So that's how we linked up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Because, uh, Cause, you know through the years I, I'd be seeing that you know you'd be having features on a lot of his songs and then that's how I realized that you know y'all cool with each other yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up yeah but uh but yeah that's, that's that's definitely cool so have you been on tour before yeah yeah I went on uh Swanita tour with Smee in 2017 mm -hmm. yeah so we did that it was me Smee uh Bari John Doe 
I think that was it. Was that it for the tour? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And then like uh, ba- the band, he had the homie mm-hmm. Felix, like everybody that was in the band at the time. That's what's up. That's yeah. Up. How was that? You, you, did you fuck with that? It was cool. It was like, yeah, bro. It was. It was like. It was a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't never been on tour, so mm-hmm. that's really what that was. I just never been. We had a tour bus, and that's cool too. But like, it was like up, like kind of, you know, up and down and shit like that. So, but overall, the experience of like, you know, like the crowds and shit it was all definitely. You know what I'm saying? Lit. It was perfect. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Definitely paying you for what's next on God. Yeah, no, definitely. And I was just getting like good reactions from the crowd like every night. I ended up getting sick, bro, like bad as fuck. And I missed like two shows. Or I missed one show. I missed New Orleans and then I, I played like half of my set in Dallas. I was still sick. Mm-hmm. And then I was good by like Atlanta. We went to Atlanta, I was straight. So yeah. But I was like hurting. I feel you, bro. I feel you. But uh, when when did your uh, project for the weight come into play? Oh, that came into play after uh, when I dropped. I dropped for the weight in twenty nineteen, so that was like way after that. Um, but yeah, so we were uh, signing everything, and it was just something I was working on. I had like a project that I was ready to drop, but I wasn't quite ready. But I really wanted to drop at the time, so mm-hmm. that's how. For the way it came about, type so, shit. So, how long was you working on those songs for? Oh, uh, not too long, not too long. Maybe like everything from For the Weight was probably like a year old, maybe, oh, really? or like to some of them was probably like in twenty nineteen, like early twenty nineteen. So I was working on. They were just. They were kind of just like not throwaway songs but just songs that I had that I wanted to put out also but that wasn't cutting it for like a project that I wanted to do I but I was also like uh, transitioning into like kind of the sound I've been creating now I feel you, you know I feel what I'm saying you. so it's like but you can hear that you know what I'm saying uh-huh, yeah, you can yeah, hear yeah. that uh, yep yep and that's what we're about to get into because I feel like um, that that project really prepared you for the sound that you create in this new project. Yeah, yeah. And you can see you kind of play with some of the, some of those melodies and some of those things you were doing in that project and it kind of, you know, prepared you for, for yeah, your next project. Exactly. Yeah. And and I feel like you definitely expanded on that since I first heard you. Yeah. Because you were real uh, bar heavy yeah, when I first yeah, heard yeah. you. Yeah. And and I really like that you're combining both of those and it's really sounding the really melodies crazy, with the bars type yeah. shit yeah exactly it's really sounding yeah. crazy bro Find that balance yeah. mm-hmm. so let's hop into that bro so like when did you like started to craft your sound uh I started probably around like 20 2018 2019 really when I really started like trying to figure out you know what I want to do with it and shit and mm-hmm. like how I want to go about my own sound, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah, like 2019, I would say. My food, yeah. Because I'm still, you know, it's still like, you know, I'm still working on it, so it's still a working process type shit. But, mm-hmm. like, it's getting, it's getting there though, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I feel you. it definitely is because in this, in your new project, Send Hearts, you can definitely see your growth yeah. and definitely hear that new sound that you're talking yeah. about. But so, it's crazy because, like, um, with Send Hearts, I was, uh, uh, some of them songs are, are old, old though. Like some of them really? songs are from like 2018, and like kind of before I was like really, really like crafting that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it just kind of fit, you know. I feel you, so I feel it was you. like it made sense basically. So, so when you uh started to like, what made you uh want to drop that project? Uh, say hearts. Uh, yeah, I, like, what was the meaning behind it? What? It's, it's about, it was about, like, a relationship that I was in, kind of just falling in, you know, like, being in love. Like, if you listen to it, you can kind of feel, like, like what I'm going through. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's like, in the beginning, it's really lit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's, like, it's high energy. In the middle, it's kind of, like, kind of, like, steady, still that same energy. And then the end, it's like, all right, like, I'm over this shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm on some, like, other shit. So it's like. 
like just kind of embodying like what it was like to like be in love, fall out of love type shit. But I um I dropped it. I really have been meaning to um drop it like directly after for the wait. That's why I dropped for the wait. You know what I'm saying? But it just didn't happen like that. So it came a little bit, a little later into play. But yeah. That's what's up. So uh, so what's your favorite track on there? If you do have a favorite track. Oh no, that's crazy. Uh I like like the sleeper song, so I like um Abundance. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite song. I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel you. It's, it's kinda it's kinda weird. I kinda like more like the the, the later songs of the tape. Yeah. February. I like February. Yeah. Same. Uh, uh Roof One Missing is in the middle. Yeah. But February is definitely one of my favorites. A lot of people like the beginning just cause of how like the energy is in mm-hmm. the beginning. But I feel like the more you sit with it, like you kind of like like the end more. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's that's like how it would be because I because I think the when I first because I have to you know I got played through these mixtapes at least twenty times for me to really yeah you know fig- figure out like what's my favorite tracks. But when first playing through like Laura Croft, that was my shit. Yeah, yeah, that's my then shit. Then after yeah. I keep playing, it, I'm like, okay, yeah. I, I think I'm more like the songs where you really you know going hard with the melodies and stuff uh-huh. like that like february so yeah yeah that's my shit but yeah but to be honest like this um this tape i probably played this tape your tape's probably the most the most i the most uh plays i have on a tape this year oh you know, bet. not for real bro. that's love bro. not for real if i because do they do the apple is that every year they do the apple music check yeah they start yeah yeah they start over every year oh yeah. spotify yeah, yeah. Every year. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see what my shit looking like this year, bro. You may be up there, bro. Oh, God. Hey, I appreciate I'll be this. Shit. I'll be playing this shit nonstop, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. But uh, that's love. No, nah, no, nah, for real. But um, but what other stuff you got coming into play? Uh, I'm about to. I got some projects in the play right now. Like I said, I just been like kind of crafting the sound. So like, I got a lot of music like that. I that's done or that's like done recorded. I mean, but uh, so we just gonna. Just keep moving. I got projects on the way, though. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, you got stuff stacked up. Yeah, yeah. I got <laughs> stuff stacked up. We got videos. We got stuff, like, already in play. Just kind of, like, you know, maneuvering. Trying to figure out how we want to do it. Okay. So, yeah. So, do you have uh, any any visuals uh, for Send Hearts coming out? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, drop the February video. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm gonna probably do Laura Croft. I'm gonna probably do Roof or uh, uh, Arm and Leg with Bari. Mm-hmm. That's all right now, I think. Like, uh-huh. oh yeah, Sin Hearts. We finna do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sin Hearts too. Yeah, so that. Uh, but yeah, we we damn just trying to shoot as many videos off that motherfucker as possible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. More content for real. Yeah, and brought brought up uh, Barry. He's going crazy too, man. Yeah. I, I low key just really like got into his Tap music. In. So, yeah, low key just crazy. Yes, yeah, yes. crazy with it. For yes, sure. both his uh both his two recent tapes. Crazy, man. Crazy, burn it down. Oh, yeah. For real, crazy. Wow, sure. I love I love all his shit, man. Yeah, bro, hard. Oh God, we you, you got another question? Oh uh, yeah, shit. Uh, usually acts like. You know, you being a musician and all you do, like, you you do a lot of things. So you're writing music, you're recording it, you're performing it, yeah. you're shooting, like, music videos and stuff. Like, do you have, like, a favorite part of doing all of that? Like, I like doing shows, bro. Like doing I like shows. doing shows. I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Like, doing shows be, like, I don't know. Like, I probably should, like, record it more, but I don't know. It's just, like, you know, you get that energy, like, from people, like, especially like, if they really listen to you type shit. Mm-hmm. Then, like, they know the lyrics and stuff. Yeah, they know the songs. Even if they don't, like a lot of the times, bro, like when I perform and people, if people don't know it, like they like it afterwards mm-hmm. or like they fuck with it, like most of the time. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I like shows the most. Shows and recording, I say like, and then like everything else kind of be like in a way to me. Like, yeah. <laughs> like not, not like music videos, but just like, I don't know, like all the other aspects of like music industry like, mm-hmm. like it's shit you like want to know you know but it'd be like kind of like 
alright, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel you. Like the whole business side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that shit that you like, if you want to be good, if you want to be great, you got to like lock in with and mm-hmm. be on the same page with. So. Hell yeah, and that's hard for people, bro. Hell yeah. yeah, like some people, I feel like some people just don't want to know really, or don't really want to like tap into, cause it be a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's 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 what it is. But like, I'm, I'm trying to tap in, like that shit is just as important. That shit damn near is the most important that, thing. Yep, like, yep. When you really think about it, that shit mean it's fucked up, but it mean more than the music. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like. And that the business aspect of it, like, like you can be like, you can start rapping tomorrow, and like, if you like, really on your shit with it, and like you plugged in, or you know people, and you got money, and you could like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like you could be popping like, instantly. That that's what it is, bro. Hell yeah. And that's why there's so many motherfuckers as plants out here, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. They got you know these people that is the whole business side of it, and yeah. they pick this person and say. You know, we can put you up here if you do these things, and then that's it. Yeah, it'd be a lot of plans. I feel like it's just, like, the, the shit's so different now, too, like, because, exactly. like, you don't even, like, it's a lot of niggas that's not even really plans. Like, it's just a lot of niggas where, like, shit just fell in their lap. Like, oh, God. Know, <laughs> niggas like, all right, bet. Like, I'm, I can get money and, like, take care of my people's, like, bet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I feel like that'd be a lot of niggas' situation. Like, and that's cool, too. Like, I'll take advantage of that shit, too, but, like. Man, yeah, saying, yeah exactly. Yeah, so. Exactly. Like, how do you feel about that, though? Like, since you've been dropping, since uh, you started dropping music on SoundCloud, like, how do you feel about the change in music? Like, since uh, you first started dropping? I like it. Like, I like everything about it. I feel like this is the best time. It's like, it's kind of like bittersweet, though, because I feel like it'd be a lot of shit that's like kind of just like whatever, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But it's a lot of like little hidden, like, it's like, you know, art is subjective as fuck, so it's like, that's what it's meant to be. Like, I feel like the mm-hmm. the rap game right now is like what it's meant to be. Niggas making shit, like, and the shit niggas is making is shit that they feel, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You fuck with it or you don't, you know what I'm saying? Even though, like, I do still, I'm a firm believer that, like, Music that was being made back then was just hella cold, like mm-hmm. really raw, like you know what I'm saying. But like, shit's still progressing and shit like that too. So like, it just depend on like how you look at it. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. But how I see it is like, you know what I'm saying? That shit hard. Like it's a lot of I I be looking at like, like it's a lot of artists where I feel like they like the new age version or like creating their own wave of some shit that niggas already did, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like we all doing some shit that, like, you know, or expanding on some shit that niggas already yeah, did. Yeah, taking pieces and stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That niggas was already young. Like, nobody was the... Inventor and shit. Exactly. Like, nobody was the first nigga to do some shit. Like, yeah, it was, yeah. but, like, in this music shit, it's kind of like, nah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I really do. I really do. But what you was just saying, bro, because yeah. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, a lot of niggas be hating, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it be like, I mean, yeah, you can feel that way, but you just don't got to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, exactly. Yeah. Or you just, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to, you know, like, I feel like more than ever now with this shit, everybody got their own lane. Everybody can create their yeah. own lane, can like, you know, like, um, like they could feed their own audience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like... Like, everybody, and that's cool, and they just winning off that, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like back then, that's the only difference. Like, back then, it was, like, one way, or, you know what I'm saying, one specific way. You had to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody had to do this, and now it's, like, niggas is doing, niggas is just finding their own way. Hell, yeah, exactly. Because you you got your own fan base now. You can sell anything directly to your fan base now. Yeah, bro, for sure. I mean, you got NFTs and shit now too. Like that's gonna really change the game, bro. Like that shit gonna change everything. Like especially if you already got like a crazy ass fan base and shit. Like you good. Like, yeah, exactly. like you can sell shit. shit. You can sell your shit and your shit gonna get resold or whatever. Like your shit gonna be going up and you gonna be making bread like like throughout the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. It's getting it's getting it's getting real interesting. Bro. That shit interesting. It's getting real interesting, man. That shit different, bro. Because, like, 
I don't know. I feel like it's not controlled yet with the NFT shit. Like, I feel like the market not controlled. I feel like niggas can just be like, niggas can just create their own. Like, we was talking about that shit. Niggas can just, like, be like, all right, I'm going to sell this, and I want 60% of the reset. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I want exactly. hella back every time you resell this. Exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like it could be said, whatever. Like, you know what I'm no saying? There's no regulations right now. Exactly. got to get into it while they can. Cause oh, God. Because then... once it, like, the rules come into place and shit, yeah. then you got to, like, the they grind. Gonna gonna... That shit. Yeah, 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 the they grind going to be different. Yeah, yeah they're going to want a piece of that shit. For sure. But, yeah. But that's, that's definitely what's up, though, because I... I, I I didn't really think about it, but now I'm starting to think about it more. Like, it's like we're definitely giving more power to the artists. We're having, you know, their own fan base and stuff yeah. like that. You don't have to, you don't have to go through internet. all these different really? sources. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, internet. That's what really like did it. You know what I'm saying? Like now everybody just can like go up off day on social media page. Mm-hmm. And just get bread. Like look at all the artists right now. That's like. It be hella artists that's uh, like popping that you don't even know or listen to or ever <laughs> see, it. but they like get it, you know, living good, like they living comfortably, like doing them, like and they got their own fans, niggas that listen to them, that bump them, but you probably never heard of them. You know right, what I'm exactly. It's hella niggas like that. Exactly. So that shit raw as fuck though. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, that shit. Making a couple hundred yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, right? exactly. That shit yeah, lit. And then, like, you never know. Like, it'd be like, like, you could just, like, catapult into the spotlight from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. there's a lot of niggas where, like, we don't know who they, who the fuck they is or what they, they never heard their music or none of that. But, like, you know what I'm saying? They just can keep going. And next thing you know, they, like, you know. Like mm-hmm. in a spot where like now we know who they are type shit. Exactly. If that's where they want to be, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, I, I for real love all that shit because it for real. And another thing, like, is not putting them in a box anymore. They could, they could sell merchandise, you know, to yeah. to they to they people. They could, you know, do anything anything they want. You yeah. Know I mean? Once you get the following, I feel like you good. You can yeah. kind of just decide how you wanna go about. You know, get to it, like with the brand and shit. Cause I feel like a lot of people be like more crazy off their merch. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't even be really doing merch like that, or not even really involved in their merch, mm-hmm. or they be going crazy off shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, or just whatever, and you could you could turn up with that shit really. Yeah, that's that. That's honestly insane, man. The sky's the limit, man. It's yeah, good to be an artist for sure. Good to be an artist these days, bro. Yeah. So on that note, like, how was it for you, like, when you made that decision to, like, yo, like, I'm going to be an artist. Like, I'm going to actually put the work in, build a team, and, like, start working with people. Oh, I'm still, like, I'm still, like, in a process, I feel like, oh, so man. much. Like, that's why I be so, like, humble with the shit, because I just be like, shit, I'm just still grinding. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel no type of way about it, because I'm just grinding. But, like, uh... I mean, like, it felt like, that shit felt, it felt good, like, just being like, all right, like, I'm, I'm about to really do this type shit, like, I'm just like, it's like, I know, like, what's waiting for me, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I don't, like, I'm just cool until I get there, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, cool yeah. until my Not table. No rushing, like, yeah, like, like yeah. I'm moving at my own pace, yeah, yeah. doing what, controlling what I can control, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be good though, you know. Yeah, yeah. You got questions? How did y'all hear? Uh, how did y'all hear about Sin Hearts? Shout out from Q, honestly. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 I, I, I didn't listen to the Wake, but I know. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I sent it his way. Yeah. I, I sent it everybody's way, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta let people know, bro. No, for sure. For so real, like, that, that shit was something serious. Yeah, Cause I, yeah. Cause I think that, well, I can say that you peep before I submitted it, because I went, I did, I submitted it to y'all, uh, submission for it. Um, boy, I'll be, I'll be on SoundCloud, Apple, I'll be ready, I'll be ready, bro, I'll be ready. Hell yeah. I'll be ready. That's love. But best believe, yeah, if you, anybody that wanna send through, we do, we do see it, so, yeah, so we probably did see it, but I probably already wrote the post already, yeah, yeah. did everything already. Yeah, the writer was cold, I'll be going crazy with the, 
with the write ups, bro. Thing, yeah. yeah. Um, no, some somebody actually com- uh, complimented us and said, uh, y'all actually uh, listen to the music. music. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, what you mean? Like, like, they don't, people don't. Think, don't be to bro, the music, people don't. Like, they just bandwagon or shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where mm-hmm. they like skimming through shit, like, mm-hmm. you know, playing the first 30 seconds of every song. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, this is what that you is. You tell the difference between somebody that's actually digested the project and sat with it versus somebody that just like I played this real quick and then did a one take listen time. Right. Yeah. Type, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I usually try to grab a bar or something from the from the song because you know yeah, yeah. just so motherfuckers know like this motherfucker spitting. Oh God. <laughs> this oh, motherfucker facts. spitting in here. You gotta listen to this shit. <laughs> facts. <laughs> For real. We got a question, bro. Nah, shit, that's a lot of that. Shit, we're wrapping on that, bro. J2, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you.